Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus and Bundeswehr Bob play Hearts of Iron 3. We left off last episode with Bob having overrun Romania and us stacking yeah. the Soviet border. No, no ugly yellow lines in Romania no. because Romania decided to stand alone. Because they're pussies. I mean, well, no, well, I, no, they're not pussies. I don't know if I go they're, that strong. Far, but... <laughs> they're singularly strong. <laughs> and thank thankfully yeah, well, they... Bulgaria looks it's 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 pre existing color was so similar to Bob's that you have to zoom all the way in to even notice there's any stripes there, so Or all the way out. Yeah, Bob's Bob's tailor found a fabric that almost matched. <laughs> Il Duce is semi pleased. Yes. Uh, Il Duce Bob. Il Duce Bob. So I've actually got a nice uh my, my first run of, of modern submarines. Um uh, out of the U-boat pens and regaining their organization right now, so I'm pretty stoked about that. So modern, so modern. Well, Type Nines, I I just fucking skipped the Type Sevens and was like, fuck it, I'll skip seven, and I don't know what an eight is, and just go straight to nine. <laughs> well, some because you, you know, like I I know Bob, you've said a couple times that like you're not as a uh, uh, you know you know versed in. Uh, the the idiosyncrasies of World War Two is uh, as I am, but you know, w with the German submarine types, there's the Type Twos, which were uh, like pre-war coastal submarines, the Type Sevens, which Germany used for most of the war, uh, Type Nines, which were implemented like mid late war, and then at the very very end, Type Twenty One. And I don't understand why it goes two seven nine twenty one. I don't know where all the other types are. That's unimportant. You don't need to know. All right. Trying to organize all my troops to make sure they're on the Soviet front. Or the front that will be Soviets. I've just got a river crossing. That's what I got to deal with. Yeah. Well, uh, I think what's going to end up, what usually ends up happening in this situation is that um, th that river is hard to cross because a lot of it's crossing a river into rough terrain. Um, in the south, there's plains, but up the up north more, it's hills. Uh, so fl flanking it from the side usually works pretty well. Mm -hmm. So I'll pro so I, I can have you attack and then I'll su support attack and we'll we, we could probably just uh, roll it up. Actually, it looks like planes all the way across except for just some hills in the middle. Uh, well, let's see. It's 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 city, planes, planes. Yeah, then hill, 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 and then planes in the north. Yeah, so it's like three planes, three hills, three planes. All right, so this is the third army, uh, which needs to get detached. Now I need to start making army groups. So this is this is army group south. This is going to be. I'm gonna delete that. This is army group. Group in German is two P's and an E. I think. I don't know. I'm just gonna write it in English with, a, with an umlaut over the U. Uh, I don't know how to type that. Uh, Ger South in German is Sud, right? Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm going to write. I don't know all things. Ger Bob knows all of the things. No, don't. Let's not, let's not spread that rumor. <laughs> Alrighty, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start actually getting starting to get my, my oob set up. I'm getting my oob oobed. Oob it up. Oob it up. So something I want to revisit, which is, I mean, we talked a little bit about this many episodes ago which is brigade attachments i think right so if, how do i uh like that, that's how i build i know how to build into the production queue thing of a jig but then how do i actually attach them to units uh, later um well any unit that will that will be has room in the in its outfit for another attachment will pop up on the deployment outliner when you click on it um you know how pop, like a little thing pops up in the upper left hand corner and it says deploy unit uh-huh. When you click on that, it'll bring up a drop-down menu on the left, basically, uh, like a scroll menu, where with all the units you can attach it to. Um, any Right now, and everybody can only have four attachments, four brigades. Mm -hmm. Later on, and so if they have four, they won't show up on the list because they won't, you know, they won't be available. Uh, later on, when we have uh, Superior Firepower Doctrine, um, it'll open it up for a fifth uh, brigade. So then everybody will pop up on there again, and all you have to do is click at it, and it auto-deploys it to that division and attaches it. Yeah, I got you. All right, so let's see. Let's let's do this, and you guys are going to come here. 
and cat. The cat's playing with a dog toy, of course. Of course. I mean, why not? Oh, and I need a leader for Army Group Sid. Let's see. Armor group soaps and suds. <laughs> um, high skill level is what's going to be important here. But you, Rommel, you are way too important to put in charge of an army group. <laughs> this is beneath you, sir. <laughs> Actually, you know, um, well, he's got a lot of really cool traits. And um, at the army group level, the traits are diluted so much that they're almost non-existent. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, in the army group, at the army group level, every skill level somebody has reduces supply consumption for the entire army group by 5%. So a, so a skill level five general will have, will reduce everybody's supply consumption by 25% right off the bat. Um, and I'm trying to find, uh, like, Battlemaster, Steinstone, Trickster, well, uh, here's... Von Rutzt, Defensive Doctrine, Offensive Doctrine. Well, yeah, I guess it'll be you. Are you... Do you need a promotion? Ah, you need to be a four-star general. He didn't have enough stars, goddammit. <laughs> Mine stars. Yeah, we need to move these HQ units up. Yes, the, uh... Like, it, basically, the lines represent, like, like radio range. How far they can communicate with each other. Hmm. All right. So let's say you need to move there. So those two, you need to move here. Uh, army group Sud could probably move up here. The actual army group group. <laughs> group 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 group. Grouping it up. Ah, we have reclaimed German clay in Syria. Huzzah! In case you know, in case you're worried. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not super concerned about Syrian clay, but I mean, for border purposes, I guess it looks better. I'm working on it. Okay. Those stripes. I'll be yelling, I mean. Those stripes make the Middle East look fat. <laughs> Even kind of pinstripe too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Lots of infrastructure coming up. What else do I got? Ooh, more MPs. Ah, my my medium tanks will be ready for Barbarossa. Barbarossa? <laughs> um, I'm going to suggest we, we launch Barbarossa in early spring of 1940. Okay. I think that's when it should do it. I will try to get as much of this done in Syria and the Middle East as possible then. Okay. So well, we'll see how. I mean that that gives us plenty of time. It's only February of thirty nine. Yes. I mean, if you can't make it uh, uh, that far in like a, like like fifteen months, then I might have to rethink my Italian allies. <laughs> All right, I could probably start working on this guy though. Well, before I start rolling through the Baltic, I should probably. Uh, get my border with the Soviet Union properly situated, because I don't rem I, I can't remember if they attack you when you take all the Balkan states or not. I don't remember. Well, I mean, I already have them, so... Uh, Bal Baltic states. Oh, okay. Those, those ones. Shut up. Don't contradict <laughs> me, sir. I may not be very well versed in all the things in World War II, but at least I know where things are. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know where things are. Baltic, Balkan. It's all the same to me. I'm an American. <laughs> don't be proud of that excuse. <laughs> don't be proud of that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alrighty. And this border is going to be stacked on my side. Yeah, well, you're going to want, like, an entire army corps in, like, every province. If at all possible. Oh, that'll be possible. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Just be, well, part, part of the reason is, yes, you need to overwhelm their border, but also, as soon as, like, you know, you really get into, uh... 
the Soviet Union. The, the line really flares out. Need reserves. Alright, so this is the Third Army. They're going to be in charge of the, the joint border area. Schwerpunkt advance. Hooray. Huzzah. And Lithuania, Iraq like you do. Lithuania wants to give me military access. Um, I'm going to say no, because I'm just going to go ahead and take it. But you could just march through your territory without right, without issue. Well, I'm pretty sure that if you have, uh, if you if, they, if you, they give you military access, you're not allowed to just waltz in. You oh, you can't you can't declare war is what it is. On them or on your intended target? On on them. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna start deploying some MPs to various places, like there you and there, and how about there. And in Vichy. And in Paris needs some 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 German cal uh, cavalry. Definitely in Paris. All right. I sunk a Belgian convoy. How, 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 fuck the Belgians. Yeah. Uh, somebody in my Discord posted a uh, a little clip of uh, 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 Farage. Telling Belgians that they're not a real con uh, country. I thought that was rude. That was, he, he was saying something like they're pissy because they're not a real country. It's like, oh, thanks, England. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see here. What do we got coming off? Improve security units. That's definitely a good thing. Lots of plane-related stuff. Cool. Got my first medium tanks off the production queue. Ah, my my Type 9 submarines are doing the trick. Tricky. So tricky. All of the trick. There we go. That's a better spot. Why, yes, I will attack Damascus. There's only an HQ unit in there. <laughs> yep, we won Damascus, of course. Huzzah! So I lost a province to the British somewhere, but I don't know where that is. Fucking Mediterranean is where I'm getting all of my convoys sunk. Well, stop being stop doing stuff there. Uh, I think so. I, I got some sunk like way. I thought some, maybe not. Thought thought there was some like Far East Asian convoys that went down, but no, they're fine. They're fine. It's fine. They're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, it's in Eritrea and Somalia that they're finally mopping up down there. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> the dupe and dupe and where are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You. So your rock should fall pretty quickly, I would think. One would. Of course, they have zero surrender progress, but, you know, yeah. Baghdad's going to fall pretty quick here. You guys go there. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, that's the army. That's the army command. Okay, that got you go there. Oh, uh, mountain divisions. Should I trust you with... Uh, with withholding the line against the Ruskies. Mountain divisions? Are are there mountains there? There aren't there aren't any mountains there, no. Well, you know, maybe you should put in the marshlands, see how well they fare then. <laughs> I I I'm pretty sure that's perfectly sound logic. You're you got mountain equipment to the to the Prepit Marshlands. I mean I'm no tactical genius. Yay, tanks. Yeah, but have the whole whole cores stacked up here now on the border, but they, uh... Yeah, I'm... Not the I'm, most well-equipped. Uh, do they need upgrades? Uh, well, they're in the process of being upgraded, but some of them are missing those brigades, so that's what I'm... Yeah. So I'm doing. I've got oodles and oodles and oodles core. of self-propelled artillery coming up. I'm basically just gonna mm -hmm. let it sit on the queue until we get, um... Uh, what's it called? 
uh, superior firepower. That way I'll just be able to auto-deploy them where I need them. Yeah, nice. My medium tanks. I'm what are, what are my medium tanks right now? Uh, Panzer threes. But now, but now they need to be upgraded. Tactical command. What should I call my military police HQ? What should I call you? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I need. I need. I need someone especially Italian, draconic. <laughs> I don't know about Italian, but Draconic. I'm going to look at my Discord here. Uh, call him Sergei Subduers. <laughs> Sergei, you're, you're oppressing people. Kudos. <laughs> He's Russian. It makes sense. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to refute the logic. I just got like some basic garrison units in like Belgium and the Netherlands that are like, yeah, we're cool. And in France, every everyone's still pissy as shit. Well, you know, I I wouldn't imagine that they're salty. At the, they should, really should be salty at the British. I mean, of all people. <laughs> yeah, really. They should be on your side. You've liberated them from their British, you know, oppressors. oppressors yeah. All right. So that is the second army. They need. A, this is going to be, uh, army group. Needs a leader with a decent skill level. Where are all my like high skill level guys? You know what? I bet they're fuck. I bet they're in charge of stupid things. Because everybody gets a uh uh Yeah. I don't like that. I might have to do some off screen work on the oob. Oh. Uh just just for uh, just for Germany. Just for Germany, uh, assigning assigning commanders uh, for Germany when you're when you're talking about like going balls deep in Russia is really important. And when you make like garrisons and MPs, it all just auto assigns a general to uh, to the division. So you know, like some of my most skilled generals can just get auto deployed to you know a garrison unit sitting on the you know uh, border with the English Channel. Mm -hmm. Just sit there doing nothing, rather than you know fighting in in, R in Russia land. All right. Um. Let's see. Nope. The Iraqis are putting up a fight in Baghdad. I was not anticipating this. All of the dad. What? No, that's not. All right. I'm gonna put a garrison in Kiel just because that's where the British like to land for some reason. And <laughs> watch, they'll change it up. Yeah, those tricky bastards. Uh, let's see. Boom. There we go. Actually, so what's what's the next run gonna cost me if those ones just finished? Down to all, only <laughs> they started at about eleven IC. Now they're down to three point one. It's pretty cool. I like that. I love how the uh, uh, practical and theoretical knowledge works in this game. I don't like that the decay rate is pretty high. But I like how the system works. Uh huh. It's just it it makes a lot nope, of sense. You got partisans that just popped up. Oh yeah, I know. I'm killing them. They they pop murder 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 murder. They popped up right next to some MPs. So I mean, it's not a big deal. If I had a place to choose to do a rebellion, it wouldn't be next to the military police. I'm just saying. Yeah. Having having a many years of you know civil unrest under my belt, of course. Yes. Bob Bob's well versed in civil unrest. He's he, he's unrestful. Viva la revolution! <laughs> All right, so army group. This is going to be army group Nord. I know that's correct. Uh oh, okay, we're just sink sinking British people left and right, which I'm all for. <laughs> Oh, they, I'm I can kind of see some of their units, too, on their home island, thanks to all the espionage I've been doing. Oh, really? Uh-huh. That's cool. All right, you go here, and you go there. How many pans? I got, oh, I got a whole, I got a whole core. Nice, a whole medium tank core. The first, that it's going to be attached to the first panzer army. 
Wonderful. All right, so that stuff's going. Amphibious warfare. Now, how equipment. worried should we be about Soviet naval invasions? Um, not very. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Okay. I don't think I. I Watch the one time it'll happen. Yeah, really. I, I I honestly don't think I've ever seen that happen, so I'm not super concerned about it. The Japanese are actually doing a decent job. Although I don't know if the, I see them moving anymore. Just kind of hanging out. Yeah, it looks like they, China. They they took a bunch of shit. And then was like, yeah, we're good now. Well, they're in a truce with China, aren't they? Oh, I was talking about like British possessions and things like that. Oh, I mean, how much more British is there? Well, I suppose there's the Indonesian Isles. Yeah. Huh. Look, Japan is going to do what Japan is going to do. Okay, just you know, let it be. My my, my sub. I mean, they're definitely service. taking him to town in the in the Indian subcontinent. So oh, you yeah. know, my subs and surface raiders are doing wonderfully. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's there's like a group of like five heavy cruisers just like going up and down the British coastline, sinking the shit out of things. As they should. And the British aren't doing anything to stop them or can't find them. One or the other. Oh, and my coastal submarines are done. Convoy raid up there. I mean, I'm not having very many of my ships sunk, which I'm I'm happy about. They're not doing too much damage there. It's gonna be a bloody battle for Baghdad, my god. <laughs> right. Baghdad. There are actually some. Oh, there's somebody in there. <laughs> no, is it gonna? They're, they're present. Is it gonna be bloody because they uh, are gonna put up a fight, or is it gonna be bloody just because you're sending the Italians in with like sticks and shovels? Oh no, I'm supplied. That's not a problem. Uh, it's uh, they're they're entrenched and uh, they don't want to come out. So okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to fight tooth and nail for the city. Yeah. Which it's been already kind of back and forth in the very short few hours of <laughs> yes. we've been attacking it. So, yeah. all right. So let's just move you. Oh, that's a lot of troops there. Jesus fucking Christ! I, I didn't. Looking? I didn't realize I had like an entire army stacked up on one province. Ah, I'm I'm killing the South Africans. <laughs> oh, South Africans. And they sank. I, I sent one of my submarines back out after they got uh, repaired, and they immediately were sunk. And why'd you let that happen? Well, it was the it was the, the coastal submarines. I'm not too terribly concerned. Surface raiders are still fine, though. All right, let's see what do we got here. All right, that's set. Casualty trickle back. Yay. I don't actually know what that does. I can assume, but I don't know for certain. Um, well, my understanding, if it's anything like Hoi 4, which it probably isn't, is um, so when you have units that are wounded, like if you have a field hospital attachment in Hoi 4, uh, one of your infantry divisions, and you have casualties, some of those casualties are just walking wounded, and they become, uh, uh, they go back in your manpower pool. Here's your purple heart. Get back on the line. Pretty much. And first aid. All right. First aid is attrition. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that'll happen in the Soviet Union. Who do we got here? Um, Major worker strike. <laughs> right in the middle of your war effort. Rude. Uh, that sounds like um, something that Sergei should be taking care of. It should be. Now I gotta make more consumer goods. God damn it. <laughs> I gotta make more toasters to make sure everyone's happy now. <laughs> the Romanians want toasters. Oh, well, goodbye, Iraq. Well, it's all green now. Go get Kuwait. I'm working on it. What did I just finish? Kuwait is just a singular province. That's amazing. Yeah. It's just the one. Well, it's a little. All right. Well, all, little all of point. you then get to come down to. Back down the Sinai.
All right, more toasters for everybody. Oh, I don't need nearly as many toasters as I thought I did. Toaster for every man, woman, and child. That's right. Don't you forget it. Twin engine aircraft. Okay, I'm upgraded by planes. That's good. I forget that it's only 1939. Yeah, 1939. These guys have been in poor supply for a long time. How do I fix this? Uh, who? Uh, out just outside Damascus, give it three units that have been in poor supply for quite a while now. I'm not sure how to fix it. Because I can't move them. Oh, wait, there we go. Move. Um, yeah, there. The easiest way to fix it would be to take Beirut. Because it's a port. Do you have enough ships to, uh, ship supplies? Uh, where do I see my convoy total? Uh, hang on a sec. Production? No. If... I have 183 available transports. All right, escorts. so you do. Six, six escorts. Um, if you want, what you can do is set up a manual... Well, first look at supply map mode and, and see if... Supply, supply. Well, you know, it says supplies are getting in there fine. Oh, no, no, no. That one province they were in, they couldn't get to. That's why. That's okay. Everyone's moving out of there now. Funny story about uh, the German naval air arm. They finished their uh, carrier air groups years before the carriers. <laughs> it's okay. They'll they'll get some combat experience. I'll use them as like dive bombers in in Russia. Okay, so no supplies are actually getting up in the north side. So I might have to move all these guys back. Just so they can get supplied. Yeah. Damn it, Syria. All right, so the 5th Army Corps, you're going to move here. The 11th Army Corps, you're going to move there. Don't really need a ton of men to garrison the Pripyat Marshlands. Oops, oh, easy. God damn it. What was that? That was me smacking my desk. I'm sorry. How dare you? I'm sorry. Stop yelling at me. Your desk is bad and you should feel bad. Well, that's good. I'm I'm really glad that I've encountered a scenario like that where I could not advance because my supply lines literally couldn't stretch that far. That, that's an interesting thing to say. Well, it means that, you know, like you don't get that in Hearts of Iron 4. Nope. Right? No, it's you just do like not. You just march forward because I've I started all the gasoline I needed when I was created. Yep. You know? In, in here now, it's like, nope, you can't advance that much that much further because our supply lines are stretched out. Yep. I'm actually going to keep in... I, I'm, I'm very purposely making several lines of... Uh, 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 basically, multiple highways leading up to the frontage. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that uh, supplies can get in there. That's, that's something I learned the hard way. Do, do tanks run out of fuel real easy. <laughs> a lot of times what happens is I get right to about um, uh, uh, the Don River and then run out of run out of juice. Run out of go juice. That's why you need fine Italian soldier to push forward. Well, Italian soldiers are pr probably going to need about the same amount of uh, supplies as a German soldier does. Nonsense. I've got all these delicious ports down here, though. Oh, uh, yes, that is good. Um, a lot assuming, I can, assuming I can push across the river. The, uh, again, again, the problem is the, uh, uh, ho uh, the, the infrastructure network in Russia can only support, um, you know, you know a, 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 a maximum total amount of throughput. Because the roads are such crap, so yeah, they're you could get you could ship true, you know, you know, uh, uh, crates into the ports, but they still have to travel on the roads to get to the front. So like people along the coastline might have supplies, but then you might run into uh, problems inland a little bit. And we are 29 minutes in. Oh snap! So we're gonna have to end this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, just drop all those likes. Leave those comments right down below. I mean, there are some interesting ones that tend to pop up, like the number one comment on the last episode that aired, I think, were the dates the Alien movies came out. Well, it's because we were talking about the Alien yes. movies in that particular... <laughs> yes, we were. And I don't, I don't even remember why we were talking about it, but it was a thing we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, it was. Some, it was several people actually commented about it. It's like Aliens 1, Aliens 2, yeah. Aliens 3 came out, and all these 
all these times this is fascinating yep and uh, uh i love this job i love my job it's a good job uh don't forget to check out the italian perspective on bob's channel or if you're watching on bob's side the german perspective for my channel and we will see you guys next time see you later